Hi, my name is Kara Kading, and as being your brain consultant at Milliger's, I thought it, what an exciting way to help you see the brand new Patricia Breen Spring 2012 line um, was to not only have our images uploaded on our website, but also do kind of a little sneak peek video of some of the new exciting fun ornaments that just came into our warehouse this week. So uh, I think you'll find that the, elect the collection is very well detailed and um, she never ceases to amaze me on her level of detail and creativity. So the first ornament that I will um, debut and I will have them on this little ornament stand and I'll hang them here and talk about them so it's easy for you to see. Um, this one is called Spring Perch and it's a wonderful sized ornament, um, great for your spring tree. And it's of course in this gorgeous green little birdhouse and the wonderful little lovebirds are all resting on the branches of this little cherry blossom which spills over each side of the um, ornament so it's beautiful of course on all sides. And the cherry blossoms are of course well detailed with the crystal in the center of the flower. I just love this one. I think that the um, cherry blossoms look wonderful and very fun and fresh and springy. Um, the next one I have, and this is one that will be available in two colors. This is Spring Song. And of course we all fell in love with last year's Mallard Day. And this is, um, of course, a rendition of that design on a smaller scale, which is perfect for your spring collection. And again, we have the wonderful bird inside of the bird cage, um, and he actually is moving and swinging in the ornament. So we're really excited about that. This, of course, is the pink and green version, and then there will also be an azure coming. Um, but the, he's just wonderful in there moving. Um, and then, of course, it's the, all the flowers are well detailed and heavily laden with gorgeous crystals. Um, so you want to be careful with this one because this is a wire that can bend and be very careful when um, packing it away for the next year. So now we will move on to one of the most exciting parts of spring, which everybody waits for, is the miniature eggs. And what a great way to start off with. This um, is our first egg called Hello Spring. And it is indeed a wonderful hello as this bunny um, jumps out of this freshly hatched egg and um, is ready for spring. The egg is well jeweled with the wonderful crystals. And the roses on either side uh, are in relief, so they are raised up from the egg, giving it a complete different dimension. As you can see, the level of detail is on a whole new level. Um, again, the bunny is a wonderful brown bunny with soft little ears and well-detailed little whiskers and a cute little pink nose. So that is Hello Spring. Oops, sorry, I have my little eggs in a basket, of course, where they would belong over next to me. Um, this is called the suitor. This is the second egg. Let me put it this way. Um, this is in a wonderful lavender color. And this is a completely different bunny than I have seen before. He's a wonderful gray um, <clears throat> with the striations <clears throat> excuse me, on his fur. You can see that he is a soft, cuddly, long-haired bunny. So he's very romantic, and of course, being a suitor, um, he is on his way to court his loved one, and he has these, this beautiful bouquet of these violets with him. What a wonderful guy, and um, he's very much in love. So what is um, more romantic in spring than violets? And the next one is one of my favorites this year. I don't know if I'm supposed to say they're my favorites, but I love this one. And these are the lovebirds. And they have a beautiful sky blue background. The lovebirds are um, very well detailed. And again, in the relief so that um, they um, stand out from the egg. The cherry blossoms, if you look closely, actually form a little heart around the birds and circling them in love. So that's a very exciting egg. I... I love the fresh, unique 
this color of it. Um, the next one on your list would be the maypole, and we um, completely shipped that egg out, and I do not even have one available, but it's a very nicely detailed egg, and its image is on our website. Um, the next egg that we have here is called the Fens, and this is a classic nostalgic um, scene. This is uh, two bunnies going for a, well, what would be like a little canoe ride or boat, gentle boat ride, except they are in a unique cracked eggshell. And the, um, the water is gentle, they're in love, and the cattails um, completely encircle this egg, which I really love. They um, have their, whole, their own life and uniqueness to this egg. Very, um, very unique looking egg. Um, moving on, we have the monocle egg. Um, another unique looking rabbit. So as you can see, these bunnies and rabbits all have their own different character. This one being very um, humanistic with his, of course, his beautiful spring green coat and his gorgeous little detailed orange bow tie. And he is inspecting this very healthy carrot with his monocle or his little eyeglass there. So um, I really, I love the carrot because it has these real healthy greens spilling out the top of it and um, just looks much more detailed than we have ever seen before. And a wonderful mate to him. And I love this color. This is a gorgeous robin's egg blue. This one is called Dig Deep. So here is a little bit different looking bunny. She's in a soft gray kind of pinkish color, very feminine looking, and her in her little pink um, pinafore dress. And she is so proud of these wonderful, healthy looking carrots that she has pulled out of her basket. I imagine her um, being out in the garden and bringing in this basket of what she's harvested and picking these carrots and probably making uh, a wonderful dinner for her little little baby bunnies. So I really uh, like those two. I think that's a great companion, two companion pieces to have together. Um, the Chicks in Mass are is on this really fun, fresh <clears throat> spring green color, and it's a softer green in the back, and then as it goes to where we see the imagery, it's a darker green. Uh, this is a fun celebratory time of spring where the little chicks are hatching out of their eggs and you can see the little eggshells um, spilling over on the sides of the basket and the chicks are excited and anxious and you can just imagine them hopping around waiting for the rest of their little family to be hatched. So that's a very cute, um, makes me smile, cute egg. Now where did my, oh here, okay. Fabulous, fabulous egg. Um, of course, Whitman, Walt Whitman was an American poet, and he is probably sitting here writing his most famous Leaves of Grass. And you can see he's got this long uh, roll of, of his paperwork and uh, lots of notes written on there with his feathered pen. And no, not forgetting any detail, here is a little inkwell sitting in the grass. Um, that, of course, he is using to write this masterpiece. And as he sits there deep in thought, he rests on this wonderful egg that is in relief. It's raised up against this other egg with a wonderful lattice work and the beautiful jewels in the yellow and green and this gorgeous pink color. So we love him because it's a wonderful tribute and it is uh, an amazing color. Uh, moving on to a different, um, this doesn't have an imagery or a scene, but it's a wonderful geometric egg. It has the wonderful reflector in the center and has these beautiful stripes of the refreshing, bright, spring-like um, colors in the orange and yellow. And of course, this will also come in the pink and green. So um, I think this would be a wonderful alternative and a nice mix when you hang your little mini eggs on the tree. Um, these crystals, which I am just in love with, decorate the whole egg on all sections of it, completely all the way around. Now our hardworking egg, this beautiful toil, is this bunny, 
um, a beautiful, soft, gentle brown color. Um, his ears are very detailed along with his whiskers. His eyes look very gentle and he is pushing his wheelbarrow um, full of the eggs. And he has, of course, four different soft pastel eggs in the green and the pink and the blue and the yellow. And then the little daisies kind of help set the scene in the background here. Um, also, they do behind him and then a little soft touch of it on the back of the egg. So um, no, no part of the egg is ever forgotten. Lastly, we have our jeweled lattice egg, and this is gorgeous. This pattern goes all the way around the whole egg. Um, we have our um, lattice work detail on the top and the bottom, and this beautiful band of the garland of roses around the center of the egg. The dimension here is incredible as far as the way the roses um, are lifted or in relief off of the egg. Um, and it's not just a pink or a white, there's definitely careful thought in the colorations of the roses. And of course the little rose leaves decorate and soften the sides of the flower. And then the um, crystals join up the garland. And the other coloration of this will also is a beautiful in the violet. And of course we will have little violet flowers on there. And you can see that one on our website. So this is just a, kind of a closer look for those of you who um, are unable to come into the Breen retailer stores to be able to see these. And you're very excited and I know that um, you maybe need to see a little bit more than just a simple image of these ornaments. So we're hoping that you are just as excited as we are and look forward to another wonderful year with Patricia Breen in 2012.